Petlands Critter Care is brought to you in part by Nutrients Pet Foods, online at Nutrients.com. Hello and welcome to Petlands Critter Care. All right, Robert. Hello, Critter. Hi, I'm not going to pet you this time. <laughs> so today, uh, Robert and I are going to be talking about kind of a unique pet, bearded dragons. Where do these guys come from? Uh, bearded dragons are uh, from Australia, and they're uh, a deserty type animal. So uh, they uh, they bask in the sun, and that uh, that helps them digest their food. They're called. You can see how flat he is, and you can see how. He flattens himself out. Mm -hmm. They're called a laterally compressed lizard, and and that means that they really flatten themselves out and and absorb heat from the rocks that they're sitting on in the hot Australian sun. So you've got a big guy here. You've got little guys in here. Are they just different ages, or are they different types? This is a this is a full grown adult, and okay. it's a, and it's a male. They'll still get uh, probably maybe thirty percent bigger. Uh, and these uh, little babies here are between three to five months old. And most people we find like to get uh, beardies when they're small and then grow them up because it's they grow quickly. They're voracious eaters, and uh, they're just it's just kind of fun to watch them grow. And speaking of uh, voracious eaters, we saw feeding time. I, I didn't see it, I looked away, but uh, what do they eat? What do we need to be feeding these guys if you can stomach it? <laughs> well, well when, when we live in, the, uh, in, in Australia in a desert climate, we're, we've got a, a pretty sporadic food source, so we tend, to, um, uh, we tend to eat whatever we can find, and so our bearded dragons typically are pretty omnivorous. Uh, when they're small, they're going to be more insectivorous. They need more insect protein to grow. And then as they get bigger, uh, once they become adults, probably 20% of their diet will be, uh, will be animal or insect protein, and 80% would probably be vegetation. And, okay. and they, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty responsive to food, uh, although I, I, I let them fill up on insects before I, g I gave oh. them their vegetables. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they really like uh, lots of sweets, uh, like blueberries and raspberries and strawberries and just a real good variety of, of, of vegetables for them and then crickets and superworms uh, and uh, and fresh water but they you find they, they don't drink all that much water and they seem quite tame is this something that they're born with or do you have to handle them when they're young how does that work that's that's really one of the reasons why uh, bearded dragons are so popular mm -hmm. as as pets and frankly they are rapidly becoming the most popular pet reptile okay. uh, it, because they're a manageable size mm -hmm. they grow quickly they're hardy uh, and they in, and and they're quite handleable and and tame. It's not uncommon to see people walking around with a bearded dragon yeah. just sitting on their shirt, hanging out. All right. And yeah. uh, as usual, when you get something like this, especially a more specialized animal, to make sure you get all the research and make sure you know what you're getting self yourself into. The more you know about these guys, the more you'll enjoy them. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Robert. And we'll see you next time on Petlands Critter Care. Petlands Critter Care is brought to you in part by Nutrients Pet Foods, online at Nutrients.com.